Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those who are keen or interested in joining my Patreon and becoming a member, well, on my Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings for $50 per month to get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. The link is listed down in my description box below if you are keen to join and become a member or you can join by typing what is on the screen via Google Search it and it also leads you to my Patreon website where you can join and become a member. Without further ado, let us tap in and find out why were you spiritually led here? What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? Claim it and not really about it. 
those that pretend like I feel like you're putting everyone to shame. Your name in this, it, your name when when your name is mentioned with whatever you are the best at here, everybody kind of like they shy away. You know what I'm saying? It's like when they mention somebody, you're like, damn, yeah, I know that person's the greatest with it. I ain't even gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing. You know what I'm saying? Clarify the King of Wands. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. We have the King of Swords here to the Eight of Swords. All right, we have Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. We have Scorpio with this Eight of Cups. We have the Identity card. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Seven of Wands here. It's as if, beloved, like, there are people wanting you to be in their energy, like people want to experience you here. There is some form of glory and idolization to your name. I feel like it's 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 what God has blessed you with. There's certain favor you have and certain something that you do, something you're about. And everybody looks to you for it, or you some form of an underdog with it, but everybody knows you're the best at it, or you know, it's it's like a well-known fact. That you are who you are with this. And there is no one that can top you or no one that can compete or battle in this field without you being the one that, you know, is said to be the best at this. It's as if, like, I just, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting, like, this strange, awkward silence whenever, like, your name is mentioned here. Nobody wants to say anything. No one wants to battle, oppose you, or talk down on you because everybody it's like an evident glory evident idolization here an evident talent an evident gift an evident way of being that no one can can disagree with God is calling you to be as humble as possible, you know what I'm saying? But don't just mix and match you with anyone that asks to mix and match you with you. You know how people ask to be friends with someone just because they want to get in their energy and feed off of it? For the clout, for the image, for the attention, for the benefits, the favors, all those, the resources the person has, the talent, the gift. It's like, if you feel like you are surrounded by someone or some some people that genuinely don't like you for who you are. They like you for what you got, what you come with, the benefits, the favors, etc. You need to detach here as soon as possible. Like you need to completely eliminate yourself from these people's energy or this person's energy if you get that from them. Surround yourself with people that make you feel blissful about who you are. People that put you in the energy of embracing who you are. Not making you question, like, damn, like, I can't even say this in front of these people. Or, I know this one is only with me for this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Eliminate those type of people in your energy because they're just draining you. They are like, it's like energy vampirism where they're reaching onto you because they know of you and what you're about. It's not like they leeching and like, you know what I'm saying, there is nothing to the leech. It's like a leech serves a purpose. They suck dry. And whatever it is that you do, whatever you're about, and whatever it is that is attached to your identity based on the glory, the idolization, the, the favor in your name, the blessings, you got to make sure that the people that are experiencing it are people worthy. And everybody else must just get, get the boot. Or you must have the ability within yourself to keep people at arm's length. You know what I'm saying? Don't have to smile with everybody. And even if you smile with everybody, you got to be aware of who you're smiling with so that you're not lacking. Or you're not what oblivious or ignorant to who that person is truly. Not the smile that they're presenting. Because it's easy for someone to smile in your face just because they know who you are about it. Or they know what you got with it. And it's different when someone smiles in your face and they're genuinely smiling. But the truth of life is we can't really tell, right? 
That's why our awareness of who's who within our world is necessary. You gotta know who you're surrounded by. You gotta know who you tell what to. Or when I get around this person, I know how to handle myself around them. But I'm still gonna be me. I'm not gonna change who I am, but I know what you deserve of me. You know, not everybody deserves certain things here. Your time, your energy, your wisdom, your money, your resources, your ideas, your creativity, no, not everybody can just have it. You gotta scout, you know what I'm saying, who's worthy. And it's not about ego, it's about smart, being smart. Cause there's certain people that you, you, you will give your energy and your time to and your resources and, and, and all those things and they'll see you as a fool because they know all they're doing is just sucking dry, sucking dry. But it's different when you're, Extending yourself to somebody who genuinely makes you happy or somebody that you are genuinely seeing in your future You're genuinely seeing them doing good for themselves Not just doing good because of you through you with you them as a person like you're seeing it like that like I know like you can really You know what I'm saying you can really you know what I'm saying Because what I'm seeing is that God has blessed you with being in a certain position of life where you have power. You know what I'm saying? And it's not just any power. It's like that leadership type of power. You know, your words matter so much. And let alone your actions here. You know, your thoughts matter here. You, you have the power to speak. The power And I feel like, you know, I'm channeling that in your ancestry lineage, those that came before you have been in the position that you're in. They might not have been in that position with the same resources, the same, obviously, way of living or whatever, like, but the power, they possessed it as well. So I feel like the reason you are able to harness your power so well, because I see that you're somebody that is not dumb to what you got, and you're not dumb to who is a snake and all those things, you know what I'm saying? And your way of being able to maneuver and finish through life in that way with your power, being able to harness it and not it being controlling to you or putting you in a compromising position is because of you, those that came before you. All right? In your ancestry lineage, it's like a bloodline thing where it's in you to be able to just control this power and harness it in a leadership way. And, your world resonates and reciprocates that energy or resonates with that energy. I feel like somebody that hates you and hides it, when they come into your energy, it's, it would be hard for them to, 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 to not blow, like, because of the way you are treated in your world and your reality, like. It's like when people come into my reality and my world, like, you would say I'm spoiled, you know what I'm saying, by my husband, by my brother, by, you know what I'm saying, the life that I live. Like, if you, you stick around me long enough, you might just hate me if, you know what I'm saying, you're not genuine. Because I, I, I really live it, and I really got it. It's not by ego, it's by faith and trust in God, the God that I serve, my Father, the Lord Almighty, Holy Spirit, you know what I'm saying? And it's like the same thing with you where God is like, purposely putting glory in your name purposely elevating you and the power you possess is purposely to trigger the enemy and also to elevate the ones that are genuine it's crazy like it's as if god is putting you in a position here where something started off in a particular way and when it evolved and it 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 it, it grew and sort of like it became more than what it started off as if you know what i'm saying it's no longer the seed now it's like the whole tree now it's like the, the fruits that the leaves the branches now it's like it just grew and now it creates shade when it's hard like it, it, there's something here of you to attach to your identity that is more than what it started off as because god put that on it god put his hand on it and now it's more than what it started off as. I feel like 
you somebody that you have respect to your name here. So when I feel like I need to say like I'm grateful that you're watching, you know what I'm saying? I feel like like whoever you are, you're somebody that people value your time. You know, they know that whenever you, you know, invest or extend yourself to them, it's not something to be looked down upon or taken for granted. It's something that should be valued. So that's the level that God has placed you in in life. Again, God wants me to speak about, it's like don't keep people around you that you know ain't right. And if you gotta play the game or play by the rules with it, when it comes to those people, be aware. You know what I'm saying? Don't drop your guard. In my life, we back to like, you know what I'm saying? You must be vacant, you must be, you must be, you must wake up. You know what I mean? Okay. We got the two of pentacles here. Go ahead and clarify the two of pentacles, please. I feel like here, I'm seeing like time. There's, um, time here where the more you invest in yourself, the more you nourish and take care and refine this power, the more it's gonna take care of you. The more you take care of this power, the more it's gonna take care of you. It's gonna take you there, like for real, like it's gonna take you there. And by the time you blink, it's like damn, like, Oh my God, look, look, oh my, like, I can't believe it. It, it, you know what I mean? It's happening, it happened, I'm here, I'm doing it, it's me, this is all me, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you're gonna have this generational wealth, wealth here, and it's not just in finances, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna have the ability to be able to put people in certain positions, if you're not in that position to do so already. Like, having... I was watching someone the other day and they were like, um, if, if, if me and my partner move to this country, like, we'll be able to build schools, we'll be able to um, give back. It's like, it's crazy that there are people that are just waiting to be placed in those sort of positions, you know what I'm saying? People that are just waiting to give and serve in favor of humanity. And I feel like you are being placed in that position if you are not there already or you're not well on your way. So your breakthroughs in life, don't look at them as just for you. It's bigger than you because you are for people. You are for the people. If God was blessing you for you, I feel like God doesn't want to do that with you because of who you actually are and based on your character, your heart, your mind, your spirit. It's like you are somebody that if you were put in the right place, you could really change people's lives or a person's lives, you know what I'm saying? You could really change your world, your reality. You could do so much and God wants you there because God trusts that you will handle it. <laughs> Crazy, like, there's a show, right? Um, in my country, they, they, there's the show, it's called I Blew It, right? I Blew It and it's about people that had millions and they blew it. You know what I'm saying? Five days, two weeks, two months, they blew it. You know what I'm saying? You hear people telling stories like, yo, I would go to the freaking club every day and just ball out 100K on this, 100K on that. You know what I'm saying? I'd buy 250K this, too. Like, and it's just, we, when we, me and my family, my partner, my brother, when we watch it, it's like, we laugh, but like, we know, like, damn, like, if we were to be put in a position to have multi-millions or have just eight million or millions, we would really, really take it to the top because we have a vision. That's why God placed you in that position that you're in where God feels like you, you can uphold the vision. You won't be swayed this way because you see this and you sway that way because now you're giving and now you're... And it's crazy in the show, these people would be like, yeah, even in the street, I'd be just giving away. I'd be just giving, like, oh, I, tears 5,000. You know what I'm saying? Here's tears 2,000 just because, like, somebody said hi to me. 
And even if that person is an enemy or somebody that, you know, it's like, they will do things that it just doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? There is no investment in that. There is no buying of acres, property, land. You know what I'm saying? There is no estate that you can say, you know what I'm saying? I'm building here and it's going to make me money. And it, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, there are certain people equipped with that already, that vision. And I feel like you're one of those people. And that's why God is going to bless you with so much favor. Because God knows you're not selfish. God knows you're not dumb. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that those people are dumb. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm equal to end your message here. This was your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. Thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. To those who are keen or interested in booking me for my services, I offer my services via Patreon, where I offer weekly signed readings for $10 per month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career, well, no, not career and finances. I also offer personal readings on my Patreon. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances if you're booking a personal reading, okay? Thank you for your time. I will see you all soon. I hope this helped you. Please stay prayed up. All right, keep God close always. Goodbye.